Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting continuation of our Let's Play post-production with DaVinci Resolve and the Heroes Never Die trailer, uh, we're just going to keep on working along. It's still raining outside. Uh, I'm hopefully not going to do as much ASMR stuff in this one, but we'll see. If we start doing a bunch of keyframing again, which might happen, um, then you know, we'll see what happens. Anyway, cool. Uh, so we're getting like pretty close to being halfway through with the first draft of this. Uh, I'm playing it pretty fast and loose, as you can see. Um, ooh, cool. I kind of want to leave it like this, but I know I shouldn't. Because we should probably, yeah, even it out a little bit. Let's see, does anything happen in this shot? It's so dark. It's cool that it's dark, but... Gosh darn it. Ooh. No, no. That's fine. 2200. And exposure one. Yeah, one stop's plenty. And that's a little purpley still. Let's go 2600. I would like, even though I'm pretty sure this person is a bad guy, yeah. Uh -huh. I do kind of like a little, little purpley. Twenty four hundred. Nah, twenty five fifty. Uh, isn't shooting raw the best? You can just make all these decisions super easy later. All right, so now this is our highlight part. Brighten things up more. This is our not so highlight part. Darken things that don't matter as much. This thing, yeah, we won't use. Let's bump that up and that's too much. One, one point three. Cool. I don't think this shot moves at all. I should have some additional stuff there. Alt L. And, oh no, not Alt L. Alt P. You goof. Alt P. Or oh, I should. I can't believe I've totally forgot to do this. Uh, I should be key casting. Q I press. And we'll do this with curves. Keep that normal and we'll see. Yeah, that helps out. This guy and that guy. See what we got. Mm. That shot looks good. Not necessarily the grade yet, but the guy who shot this did did a darn good job with some stuff. Uh, I'll make it a little bit less obvious that, you know, I touched this shot. You know, it's always a battle because I really like, you know, seeing crazy color grading and, like, knowing that somebody did their job. But, you know, I also realize that there is some value in, like, being transparent or invisible or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. We might up the contrast on this guy a bit, like 1.4, and then bring the pivot down, up, down. Cool. Glad I didn't go kayaking today. That would have been awkward. Well... Glad I didn't get like caught out in the rain. You're never really glad I didn't go kayaking. You know, kayaking's like fun. Oh, cool. So it's a little dark, but it's not too bad. We obviously don't need this guy again. I should really start copying from other shots so I don't have to delete that. We'll make this long and skinny to have it highlight the center of our frame kind of. Add some of this. 
So we can see, oh, not that much of that. We'll make it way softer. Soft with an umlaut. Soft. Soft. This guy looks just like this shot, so. Jeez, lose all these fades. Let's put more fades in it, guys. Yeah, more fades. No, it's a trailer. You expect, you expect this. It's just fine. It's just, you know, is one more click that I have to do. Which is pretty annoying, but, oh, there we go. Now we're looking good. Um, I would like to bump this up, especially since this shot's like halfway clean. It'll be nice. We can make some stuff happen with it. I don't think it moves too much. Yeah, it's just sort of. Wow. I'm surprised there aren't like lens flare stuff going on. Man, they sure did make some cool looking shots for this. This is going to be a fun project to make happen. Uh, that's, that's the dark and stuff. Uh, so they're in. So it should be bluer, but I guess they might have white balance different. So we'll make this. 4,000. No, not 1,700. 4,000 is a little cool. Mm, not 500. Maybe we should just leave it like that. See what they say. Just see what they say. I dare you to tell me I did a bad job. Okay. I feel like I shouldn't be using this exposure control because it always makes stuff look bad for this. Oh, there's the ISO. That's more of what I was looking for. We'll go 640. Alt Shift Z. Ugh! Stop. How do I make this stop? Um, control, alt, shift, U. Goodness, I hate this so much. Oh, can I just delete? Oh, delete. I really need to disable all this. This is the worst. Just installed a new graphics card and NVIDIA made me do all this crap. I had to log in with Gmail. Ugh, I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Okay, this shot will need some denoise action. I mean, we should probably take away this in visual effects too. I'm also doing visual effects for this short, which is pretty goofy. I haven't done visual effects in a while, so that'll be fun. Uh, color. Look at look at how close we are to being done with our first pass if you're new to color grading don't really expect to get it right your first pass it helps to render it out and take a look at how things are are looking and then going again and with your notes and tweak things Cause especially whenever you're using nice big footage you sometimes lose a bit of you know focus Oh, that's pretty good. Um, oh, but it's, we need more greens. Let's make it. That's probably part of the problem. Yeah, that was part of the problem. Okay, and then we can make this 4,800. Okay, whew, much better. And now I wanna make this one a little blue because that's sort of how they had it with like, and we need to just make this brighter. 
Let me make this brighter in general. You're in like a place full of white marble or something. It should be halfway bright. I wish they popped more. I guess I can brighten up this one some. But that's too much. Oh, shoot. Can I undo this? So I should not have done it in that node. Okay, should have done it in this node. No, I don't like that. Go ahead and add it after everything. Not being very conservative here, but I definitely want some contrast. This guy. All right. Okay, I can live with that. Oh, look at that. Just just a few more. Don't you love nice, easy things? Oh, man, this shot. This shot is going to be... Ooh, cool. Look at that. Tricky, tricky, tricky. 600. See how that looks. Uh, two magenta. Minus 10. How about zero? That looks good. Pretty sweet wings, brah. For this one, let's go ahead and split this into two. Oh, saw some crazy lightning outside. My room doesn't have like the least windows ever, but I would definitely like more windows. If you want to see a how to install new windows in your studio tutorial, uh, let me know. Cause you know maybe this summer I'll do that. Let's add some more brightness. See, I know that on the earlier shots I'm going to end up brightening up more too in version two, just because of that's the way things are headed here. That's just the way things are headed. Oh, now you definitely heard that thunder. Well, I don't know. The low pass, no, high pass filter on my mic is turned on. So you might not have, because it's pretty, you know, low rumbly. And that rumble probably sounded like a little girl, but it's, it's just a high pass filter on my mic again. I promise I'm, I'm super manly, deep, deep rumble magoo. That's me. 3,200. I don't know what the heck is going on in this shot at all. So we're gonna have to take another look at. Okay, just like, <laughs> look at this waveform let's just see if we can email a little email the gmail
That's pretty crazy noisy, but at least we can see what's going on now. We'll take a look at that one again in a bit. This one should just be this guy again. Oh, cool. But... I think, yeah, it does get brighter. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, oh, man, that's a cool thumbnail. So, yeah, all these are graded. Let's see. Here. Can we drop, like, a little bit of noise reduction on here? I know it's kind of irresponsible. Two frames. There's not much movement in this. Yeah, 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 I know it. Oh, I shouldn't do that in this node. Not at all. I need to do that in a node that I can turn off. So we'll name this. Gosh, don't I change the label. I think they have a better label for that. Noise reduction it actually doesn't look that bad. Make it 20. This one. Thirty. Well, we'll hope that shows up in the render. Ah, okay. All right, we'll take a look at this. So I will export it as, that's probably good. Go ahead and copy our, oh man, I, I turned that off or whatever. Control L, Control C. Okie dokes, put it here. So we are definitely going to take another pass at this, but we'll take, we'll see what the first one looks like. Add the render queue and start though. Actually, I'll hit start after I end this recording. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this part of our Let's Play post-production DaVinci Resolve Heroes Never Die trailer. Etc. If you like the video, give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Misner Media YouTube channel. Misner Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, check out misnermedia.com slash products, where we have all sorts of good stuff for you to check out. Let's power grades, stock footage, lens flares, even some free stuff. Everyone likes free stuff, so hop over there and take a look around. Um, also, be sure to share this video with your friends because... You know, everyone, <laughs> who doesn't want to just, like, sit over someone's shoulder and watch some color grade? You know, that's every director's dream, is to sit over someone's shoulder and micromanage them. So, once again, I'm Theo with Mies New Media. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.